It's not nice. That's what happens to Atlanta every time the ship heats. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Just letting you know, Dan, you are um, starting to crap around a little bit, but right, you're still, you're right still in the window. Thing. No, I didn't notice. Yep. Um, and the package does seem to be on the move. Copy, copy. 10 meters up on the winch. Roger. Um, that puts us 40 meters up. Pink hook is almost touching every time. I wonder what's going to happen when the, float, when the crane's in. How much better yeah. it'll be. Yeah, so the reason I came up 10 meters is when they suck the crane in, it's going to drop, right? Yeah, makes sense. So, uh, yeah, I'm ready to Go suck it in. Roger, yeah, we're prepared. Thank you. Perfect timing. Now the crane's going to try and hit me with the thing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you got a knife, though. Yeah, that's right. I can run faster. Run, <laughs> run. A <laughs> <That> knife is... <laughs> so... And a T-boss. As far as XY goes, it's it's uh, kind of closer to <laughs> north of the to toolbox now, maybe northeast, just northeast of the toolbox. Right there. But now when the crane pulls in, it'll just... It's going to be nice and close to us. So they're boomed all the way in now. They're... They're, the crane's sticking out as far away as it can from the boat. Yep, but they retracted the boom. That's all uh, they've done. Oh, so you're far. watching another camera yeah. there. Yeah. Go ahead. Do you want them to um, stand by? Do you, do you want them to outer boom in? Mm hmm. Or? I seem to have slowed it down a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that made a huge difference. Yeah. I can live with that. Okay. The, the wire is probably 15 meters from Atlanta, so. Yeah, we don't want to come too much closer, I don't think, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Thinking, processing. Processing, compiling. Yeah, no, I think we'll live with that. that okay. Deck control, we uh, are fine with that crane position. Thank you. I don't know what's going to happen to the... Okay, Danny, let's all head back down. Okay, following you down. Roger. I don't know what's going to happen if I have to let go of the hook. You know, it could swing meters either way. So. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, every chance that I'll chicken out and let go of it. Then, it, you know, we can follow it around and move yeah. it where we want it. And I can run away if I have to. If I'm holding on to it, I don't have a lot of options. Right. Um, so far, our XY position is looking pretty good from the beacon. So when we get back down, we could try to lower it again and see if we're in the, in the pocket. Yeah, I'll come back down on the weights here and see where we are. Okay, we can uh, we can start coming down. You see on the winch. Winch control. Payout ten meters a minute continuous. Grafana is lagging. You have a real time payout on the uh, below your camera control there? Yeah. I'm watching that. Toolbox and bubble cam. Roger. Empty 
steer it's a little closer now by a crane extension. Uh, another five meters and we should be able to stop. Roger. We're really tight on Teva. I'm trying to come yeah, down and follow yeah. you. Come down a bit. All right. Do you want me to all stop there? Sure. Winch, I'll stop. I'll stop. So, I'm obviously right above the yep. radio A. Yep. And that thing is near the train two wheel. meters <laughs> away from me so I think we want to move another 10 meters north um, let's do the I think the 315 move oh yeah you can do north because that's going to put it by the cables isn't it yeah do you, uh, can we look north is there any cables north behind yeah, the train wheel I, I don't recall I can look north no just a crab North of the tool basket, there are cables, but I, I don't know if they're within 10 meters. Oh, well, that's looking north there. Yeah, yeah I don't see it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 10 meters north. Roger. Bridge, now. Step 10 meters north. Thank you. Get it away from me, honey. <laughs> That's good, thank you. Hot tamale action. Everybody watching at home, uh Although the scale of this is kind of large, you can see those are weights, you know, that you would use in the gym, and Hercules is, you know, a small car size. You can uh, still imagine that dangling uh, a pendulum 2,100 meters, 2,200 meters deep, and we're trying to land it on a certain spot within a certain distance. It takes some patience to narrow it all in. bit easier than doing it in air because we got it water to slow it down but the opposite of balancing a plate on a broomstick while it's spinning yeah just a really long fishing pole and a yeah bobber at the end yeah can you come up a couple meters for me Danny Somewhat tight. I just did my gauges. Have you guys taken a peek recently? Mm. Gauges are nominal. Seem to be good. Just a reminder. Coffee Thank man. You. Coffee man cometh. I think I'm the only one on this watch that's actually written them down, but. I'm it's using that. It's usually the opposite. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm uh, 
when we had the paper checklist, that was how you could tell how much time the Argus pilot had gotten in the chair because the readings would just stop <laughs> when the Herc pilot shifted <laughs> over. And you could also tell by the amount of finger smears on the monitor for the Argus pilot. Or go away, have a touch screen. Yeah, no you don't. Yeah, we'll be able to see on the Sea King how far out it is from the toolbox while you're hovering over it. We can... No, sorry, I'll come back up. Oh, we're all good. Can see it still. Five meters according to Mr. Mazotech. Yeah. Sea King there. Yeah. My came. Sorry, I came below it there. What are you calling the Sea King? Uh, this sonar oh, here in front gotcha. of us. So it's set on some meters per division right now. No, it's on 30 meters. Uh, uh, okay. You can drop it down one now. Now that we have uh, got rid of some of that noise. Put you back on 20. Huh. I don't know. Some even number. Yeah. So it's bang on five meters away now. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a good hit. And, um, yeah, you can see the toolbox directly below us and the bubble cam, so we think we know where it is. How much slack do you think you're going to want with that heave? I don't know. We'll have to lie it up and hone it in, I guess. Yeah, we can do, like, you know... Down easy or yeah, yeah. down easy seems to be pretty fast for them. So yeah, uh, or we can say like down one meter or something. Right. It will depend on how it's sitting, whether it lays lays over or comes down and starts, you know, getting fouled in the floats. Yeah, makes sense. Option B we talked about was to, but I don't think we'd be able to is grab it and lift it up. Wants to, wants to sit right near it. It's still fine. I'm just still looking at yeah, compared to when we launched in when where we have it. It's kind of dangerously close. Yeah. We'll probably have to. Uh, yeah. Do the Herc drag south and winch up that kind of thing. To get rid of the toolbox. Yeah. yeah or we chase the toolbox up for a while. See what way it goes. Oh, yeah. Either way. Nice to have eyes on it, you know what's happening. You can always stop. Right. Uh, well, it is moving away from us. We can it see is. that much. Yeah. Adelance is also drifting that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what happens when you move the ship. I know. It's funny. You don't want it to. <laughs> as long as they're not touching the core, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did a good job on the way down. So. I'm surprised it's this far south. When I would have expected yeah. it to be the other way. I agree. It kind of must hit some current or something. Because we're over down here, too. Yeah, I was hoping it would be, you know, like, oh, I can't reach it. Yeah. <coughs> well, well. Hey, Doug. Oh, never mind. Just 
still going out a bit. Yeah. See a mezzo too. This video's going off comms for a second. Come it's going to spell me. That's probably a, a good distance there, you know. Yeah, and then we get too far and the cables are there. So. Yeah. You wanna? Do you wanna watch touchdown and then ascend? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we need to, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, you just let me know and. Yeah. So, uh, well, so we'll bring it down, Renny, till. Yeah. Um, I guess till the weights aren't bouncing, you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, we might as well do it now before the hit gets to those cables. I don't know if it'll go that yeah. far. Yeah, well, that's good, because, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah, ready. Winch control. I'm five meters away, so. Payout slow. Uh, yeah. Roger. Slower that, if you that's can. That's kind of fast, yeah. I don't know what kind of slow as you can. Fine, fine tune, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this winch doesn't love slow. No, yeah, I'm sorry. It can do slow, it just doesn't like it. Here's the experiment. One way down, bouncing. Hey, Danny, can you uh, get the magnum out? Yeah, I can get the magnum out. Or just uh, start with uh, wrist up. Okay, can I no, I'll stop there, Renny. Winch, I'll stop. Yeah. And that's good in the uh, elbow one. I think that's pretty good in the heaves so far. Because yeah. we get that one weight that's lower. I don't know if we have elbow. We do not have elbow, at least uh, the last time we used it. We've had it. You oh, you got wait. it back? Um, that one weight's bouncing a little. Let me try elbow down. and One meter down? Uh, no, I'll, I'll come up and look at the hook, see what's happening. Roger. What a perfect time for elbow to quit walking. It'll work in a minute. Just give it a little elbow grease. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there goes my heading. Look. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, you're on the other side of it a little bit. There we go. Happy heading. Need a happy heading. That's a sticky valve. Happy heading fail. Um, sorry. <laughs> okay, Danny. You can uh, come up on the winch too, please. Oh. Coming up on the winch. Come up kind of quick there. Uh, 36 meter delta. Yeah, no. How's that look? Yeah, that should be fine. Well, Karen, you come down another meter. And you can uh, stick that magnum out there. Winch control, pay out one meter. Well, I had elbow. Definitely a control signal issue. Copy. Hmm? There we go. 
hit it enough times, it'll look. Yeah. Yeah. The gate folds like in. 220 when you pounds. Or no, it goes out. Oh, yeah, it's pink. It's a pink hook. Together, the 220, yeah. Let's uh, move the boat uh, to the east. Oh, those boats, yeah, yeah. Boat to the east. Yeah. You don't think it'll drag it? With? Uh, we'll, we'll pay out a bit as we move. Okay, Roger. How many meters to the east uh, would you like? Five meters. Bridge nav. Into the breeze. Step five meters east. Thank you. And then, do you want some payout now, or well, just wait till we see some movement? Yeah, wait till we see. So we'll try and get the hook off and then lay it out a little bit. Yeah, Roger. <coughs> Can we try Danny Cam again? See if it works. Sure. Entering mouse territory here. Yay! I was watching it earlier. It worked for a bit, then it breaks yeah, up really good. badly. The mouse is over. Uh, can I change this back to Danny Cam? Yeah. H11. Seems pretty stable, that camera. Danny Kim got hot. Probably. That wire is sitting in the hook strangely right now. Having trouble hearing you, Ed. Sorry. <coughs> that cable's in on there fixed itself. Can I pay out another meter and see what happens? Winch control will pay out one meter. Copy. Do you want me to look forward and bucket a little bit in a uh, bubble? Sure. It's at least not tugging it, but it'll probably punch the floats every once in a while. Uh, at least it won't jerk our arm off. Yep. Tape that hook up. At the shackle? It looks like it already jumped out. No, it's still in there. It just keeps. Wishful thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, wrapped around. Ah, <coughs> um, so when I grab it, I'm going to grab it above the hook. I changed my mind a little bit here. Just because it's even. Then I'll have you pay out a little on the winch to put some slack in it. Ready at your command. Roger. Can you uh, wrist up a little, Denny? We won't need the seven quite right away yet. You happy with that? Yeah. Ready to lock jaw when, need, when requested. Roger. So we'll get it on the upheave. If I can get into it. <coughs> what part are you planning on grabbing in? The cable or below or above the I'm gonna grab the okay, wait for it, Danny, wait for it. 
Grab. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Sick. Okay, pay out a meter on the winch, or a couple meters winch on the winch. Winch, pay out two meters. Okay, Danny, grab that hook and unhook it. Coming out. Uh, you can pay out a couple more meters, Danny. Winch, pay out an additional two meters. Roger, copy. Uh, I can bring that. Magnum up a little, if that makes it easier. Yeah, bring the magnum up if you can. I'll do up. Yeah. Actually, swing shoulder in. Okay, hold on. Shoulder right. Beautiful. Released. Okay. You can keep a hold Copy of the hook if you want. Yep. I got it. We've got it extra good. <laughs> We've got it extra good, all right. <laughs> and the next step is to you go down to the basket, right? In theory. How much more you want me to pay out? We're going to keep a nice belly here in front of us. So yeah, Roger. You, right. can, you can pay out a couple meters there. I'm paying out a couple meters, too, just to keep you delta. Winch control pay out two meters. cam in just a little bit, bubble. Sure. Right. Too much. This is okay. the part of the program where Hercules climbs can, to uh, recover. <laughs> you can pay out a couple more meters, right? Pay out two additional meters. Just hand over hand all the way to the surface. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be more like a pusik. You would just loosen the grip on the man on the ma magnum, and then climb, oh, pull yeah, it down, those, tighten, yeah. climb, pull it down. Pay out, pay out on the winch. Pay out two more meters. You see that tool basket yet? It's directly uh, underneath us. No, it should be now to your uh, about no, ten meters. To my left, a little. Yeah, ten meters and slightly to port. Looking for it in Booble. There it is. I see something. Probably hit nothing. That is the RAS. So if you turn left. Oh, I can't turn. I can back up and lateral. Okay, back up and lateral to pay port. Out, pay out some more on the winch for me. Pay out four more meters. Mm, okay. Hmm. What's she saying? Troubleshooting a winch problem. Can you advise on the winch problem? Okay, I'll stop on our winch. Copy, copy. Yeah, that's a slow payout. Doesn't like it. Oh, it doesn't like it. Yeah, yeah maybe. It looks there like you go, toolbox tool in just uh, in your heart cleft. Yep, you can see it in Danny Cam. I can't see it. Oh, it light years away. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There it is. And Herxus. Right there. Copy. I see the grate. See those thingies. There's the train wheel. <laughs> We're in the neighborhood. 
I'm going to reset <laughs> the tracks on high pack for the. Uh, you can uh, the pay hook. out, pay out on the winch. Look at Danny Cam. Pay out four more meters. It's a heavy hook. Yeah, it's, it's pretty heavy, especially with the shackle. Yeah. Shackle letting you know Huge. your heading is now. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just keeping the wire Roger. out in front of me. Yep, just checking. There's Copy. the weight back there. How are you on payout there, Dan? You want some more? Or are you all right? I think I'm all right. Okay. I think we've got this. Want to put it in the, uh, not the payout, but the... Uh, yeah, aiming for the middle. Um, so let go with the magnum. And then move the magnum out of the way. What was that back row about the hook in location? I can't. This here. Hey, Doug. Okay, that's good. Okay, Do lift you your arm up a little bit. Nice this chain link, that's what we're going for. Yeah, the, the chain link, yeah. Lift your arm up some All right, more. So up, we're up, looking up, for up, that. up. Okay, good. Say again. Right to this, this here. Roger. That's what we the one that's zip tied. The one that's zip tied down, yeah. Roger. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Uh, don't let go of it once you have it hooked. Okay, hold that. Okay, Randy, come up on the winch. Winch control, haul in. Uh, five meters a minute, if you can. You can um, tilt it over a little bit if you want. Yeah, so when it pulls it around. Maybe tilt more, uh, twist your wrist so the hook. Yeah, it's gonna take a load here in a minute. Getting close to getting wrapped around the magnum. Yeah, it is. Ready for all stop? Uh, yeah, getting close. As soon as it sure. picks the shackle up there and it's not bouncing. Yeah, Raj. What does it come out of there? All stop on winch. Uh, no, I'll keep coming a little. You good? Hull in slow. Okay, Danny, let go of it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait nope. for the upheave. Oh, keep coming up, Renny. I don't want, I don't want yeah, it to Roger, bounce out of there. Yeah, Roger. Hull in slow. If we let go of it, it'll fall out. Yeah, right. yeah. I gotta ride it up a little. <clears throat> now you can let go of it. Nicely done. Okay. You wanna I'll stop, stop the winch? on the winch? Yeah. Winch, I'll stop. Okay, we'll stow our toys. Beautifully done. That mm. was really impressive. Wow. Uh, you can move the boat if you want. I'm gonna stow the. And hold on, I gotta get. You gotta you know, get around it. Back you know. around on my happy heading. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I've. <laughs> uh, okay. 
come up on oh, our. Oh crap! Come up. Right in the middle of it. Yeah, he's gonna. They are going to be very he'll, surprised. He'll 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 leave. I've never seen one come up by accident like yeah, that. Yeah, I never either. I've been hopeful, but it never happens. Oh, in shallower sites, and yeah, right. Like How would you like to move the ship? Partly. We have a hover platform, so we can I'm not stop sure. crabs. Uh, but like a big crab like that? bring it south, then well, it'll we be have away from the there. rack. Right. We have we're, some we're tunner. Like Sorry, crabs. Science, can you stop with the chatter for a second? Where is the, uh, where is the wire on Atalanta? It's 35 meters. Light years away. It's 20, 40 meters away now. Uh, the wire. <laughs> Look uh, to your left a little, Danny. On Atalanta. And come up another, yeah, that's probably good. You can come up a little more on, on our winch. Come up. Come up another five. Coming up five. Okay, you are now at your happy, happy heading. heading. <laughs> um, <coughs> so we moved the boat to the east, so five meters. So on dairy, you know, we should be good to pick it up. Yeah, I'm okay with that. We'll just watch it and make sure it doesn't go towards Raz, but we sh it sh should clear it by the time it gets over there anyway. Yeah. Um, let me know when you're ready okay, to haul Okay, Danny, it. be ready on the winch, so we're going to chase this thing up. So let me come up a bit. And, uh, okay, I'm ready. Up easy on the winch. Up easy on the winch. 10 meters a minute. Do you want 10 meters a minute for them? Then? Sure, yeah. yeah. Winch control, haul in 10 meters per minute. Should get a load. <coughs> to inform, we have the tool basket hooked. We'll chase it up uh, 20 or 30 meters and see what happens. Roger. Come up a little faster. You want it faster? Uh, I don't know. That's a good speed. It's swell out to see so better. Yeah. yeah. I'm poppy yanking you up. That's all right. Tight tether is a good thing. So if you really didn't want to get tangled up, we'd chase this thing all the way up, but that would take forever. Yeah. We'll just, uh, I don't Hope think that best. we'll be able to do, <laughs> ra we won't be able to do north stuff for a bit. We'll just wait yeah. till that's much further up in the water column. Well, we might as well chase it up. Then, yeah, right? yeah, I agree. For a bit. Then we know it's not tangled up. There's the RAS floats. Oh, beautiful. Nice little shot there. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's good. She can uh, come up a little faster. Winch control, you can increase speed 15 meters per minute. It's a nice delta there, Danny. Mm hmm. folks watching are asking about the tool basket and the yellow base the oh. squares are open so the water goes through yeah. fiberglass grating yeah widely used offshore super grippy yeah you stand on it feel real secure And it's bringing home a seismometer, right? Yeah, it's got a seismometer on there. Um, she'll have to slow down a little. And a cable tester. You want slow yeah. well, I'm heavy. I know. I know. I'm we have one casting. 
One guest that you're happy. <laughs> I'm pegged. Oh wait, I got more jam here. I'm I'm happy, I'm happy. Okay, Raj. I'm pegged making fifteen meters a minute. We go to the gas tights and all beacons, beacons ahoy yeah. and I reach down and go drop an Alvin. Not in this area. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good. We're Look good. out below. <laughs> Look, I can stay ahead of it. How high are we chasing this thing? I don't know. Chase it all night. Um, I would be happy chasing it to 100 meters, um, well, just before I lose DVL. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, we'll just stay off of its general region until it gets a little bit higher. They could also um, extend the crane back out if we think it helps. They could, yeah. It'll bounce a little bit more, but yeah, yeah, that would help actually get it away. We're going to do it now. Ten meters away from the. From our wire. Yeah, yeah. Lounge Good control. Idea. I'm coming up on 100 meters off bottom. Yeah, Herc's, uh, Herc, 100 meters, we got another 50 to go. Yep. Winch control, is there a crane operator there? Yeah, see if you can find Josh. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, yeah, can Josh go out and extend out? Um, I'm going to get a little further away from the ship now. Thank you. Is uh, your heading walking around or mine? It's probably yours because you're tugging. You seem pretty steady at 315. Yeah, right. I can bring my heading around a little bit, match you. It's riding nice. Yep. No bits flying out. It's been a long day for the deck crew. Oh, yeah. Yesterday was as well. Yeah. Yesterday was real. Need two more working back to backs. I wonder if they're getting paid overtime. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh, <laughs> uh, we have re we have relief. Mm, I think when uh, I started coming a little faster there. So. Okay, I'm probably going to hold here and watch it pass us 90 meters or so. Roger. Okay, I'll stop on the winch. I don't want to lose uh, my... No, I come up another 10. I don't want to lose my DVL. Yep. I don't know why. That's good practice. <laughs> then I want to know where I am. Okay, you can stop there, Danny. 2099. Still got four beams, 100 meters up. Yeah, it's nice. Well, that is nice. The lower frequency ones. Help if I turn stick lock off. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not going down? <laughs> Dangerous. Okay, your delta's getting loose. All right, there, come back down. Okay, and say bye to the package. Roger. You can watch it go by in Atalanta. Yep, I'll follow it. Copy, crane extended. If my camera doesn't take off, I'm... Um, do you want me to tell them to go fa as fast as they want with the toolbox? That'll get us there. Sure. Winch, control.
Uh, you can haul in at uh, whatever speed you'd like. Uh, please report back the speed. Thank you. Copy, 25 meters per minute. I'm just supposed to get an estimated time to Mike. Okay, I'm gonna, we can go back down, Danny. Okay, haul on down. 25 meters per minute. Or is it, is the package, no, let's wait till the package is passed you. Package is passing me right there. Look at that, beautiful. Yeah, you can see why I don't want to go north yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, while it's on the way up, we'll want to keep a good eye on Atalanta's depth, and if it starts changing suddenly, yeah, I'll stop on the winch. Roger, Roger. <laughs> <coughs> Should be okay, but... Yeah, that is a good view. Bye-bye. Into the darkness. Into the darkness. Okay, let's head back south and uh, go find the Raz. You want to uh, pay out for me? Yep, going down. Ten meters away, fifteen meters away. That's a winch control. Just let me know if you change speed. I'm just uh, checking time uh, to alert the deck chief. Um, half hour out. Yeah, Roger, I had about that, like 80, and then uh, 750 meters for our beacon depth, we would let Mike know. Everybody's doing math. Mm. Math is cool. <laughs> You've just made a new jingle, Rennie. <laughs> I don't know if that one will stick. Doesn't yeah. It's the do math jingle. Yeah. You can uh, come down a little faster. We'll see what I can make down. Okay. Ramping up the speed on the winch. 20 meters a minute, it looks like. Just following along here, did we end up using those gas tights yet? Nope. On the front row? Still okay. packing the gas tights around. Roger. Yeah.
Okay, Raz acquired. Uh, 35 Merino Delta. Yeah, right there. Back to the normal. Hey, Ed. Yep. Zoom in. Coming in. What does that sticker say there? I'm guessing oh, you put it there. Hey. <laughs> Sweet. Somebody oh, it's a Nautilus on. float. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you could go away. Yeah. <laughs> nice. What's going on here? All this jewelry still look okay? Yeah, that looks good. Happy, happy. Yep. And for viewers out there, that was a patch design contest that the Nautilus runs. Fifteen feet down, we should start seeing the top of the experiment. Yeah, I can see it below me here in the look down yep. cameras. I'm just monitoring this uh, beacon as it moves towards where Atlanta is. Is it moving the wrong way? Uh, it's okay. It's just kind of... I can always go yank it out. Yeah, but yeah, Raj. It would like, you know, change it by right. that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have no. to get Theta involved. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> My app doesn't have that many decimals. <laughs> all right, this is just. Hope we hope to see all those bottles still intact as we're going. That's cool. yeah. I can go have a look around here. What was bubbles at the surface might not be bubbles down there. Well, you'll have to zoom in again there, Dad. Ed. Uh, to the Ben thing? It's, it's not, yeah. Ben will do stuff with these on Monday. Monday. Oof. What day is it? <laughs> Sunday. Well, sorry, Ben, oh. it's a little, <laughs> a little too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a piece of material from the shop. <laughs> that's funny. Very, very smooth. It's that always fun to put notes on things you deploy in the deep sea. Yeah. <laughs> Do not deploy. Ah, uh, <laughs> remove before flight. No. Yep. Pretty sure we had to deal with a zip tie earlier today. That should have been uh, removed before flight. Oh yeah. Happy with that view there. Yeah. Can we zoom in on some of those tubes? I just want to, just for curiosity, see. Sure. Go some ahead of them out of bubble that you couldn't get rid of. I doubt if it's there now. I'm just thinking whether it collapses the tube or whether it. Oh, yeah. Creates, just disappears. Looks like, from what we can tell, they look fine. That one in the back might have a bubble. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's got something. But I this? just can't believe that it's got a bubble at this depth. Yeah. Not with that thickness of tube. I know we pressure housing other those tubes in. <laughs> it does look like it has a bubble, though. That's crazy. like the Medusa of instruments. All of the little Might as well tubes. get a position while we're here, huh? That science data, you're dying for that. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're about temporary. to move. Yeah, just waiting for a turn. She's falling yeah, asleep for now. Awesome. Sure, it's temporary, but I'll put it in. Whereas, is this the current blowing it over like that? Well, oh, that's me touching it. Oh, okay. Oh, and at the bottom? And yeah, no, I think yeah. it's just... Uh, no, this is the Raz, yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's interesting. Bit of a yard sale down there? Might have to pick it up from the top. <laughs> huh. The shackles the shackles heavy? Well, there's some heavy shackles. <laughs> <laughs> you caught, what was that cable? So I took to hold it down was the shackles. Thank you, Naf, got it. Sure. <laughs> now, how is the... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the weight of the platform lowering it. Yeah, that makes sense. Not the shackle. <laughs> it's the <laughs> platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody dialed this in. The weights <laughs> don't even matter. It's a slower, <laughs> slower descent than the dial. This is perfect. Wow. That's it. So that's I can unhook one of these weights, I guess, eh? Yeah, only one unhooks. I don't think we need the second one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty light, or I'm pretty heavy, too. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick up those weights. 
might have to temporarily deposit some gas states or something. Well, yeah. And uh, like 20 I'm just beacons. Trying to focus here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the one on ODI your ODI connectors, beacons. It's the one with the hook. Yeah, straight ahead. Is uh, one closest. that you can remove and then put back on later. Yeah. This one here. Yeah, yeah. I see the little pole there. Let me get a little closer here. One shackle and a pairing. Wow. That's in, I guess there's these two thimbles as well. Put, uh, I want to put uh, the Magnum back out in its business position. Yep. I spam the elbow command, I can get it to work. Yeah. I, I feel, still feel like it's caught on a rock or something down there. Somehow something got jammed and it's not just the pairing holding it down. We're about no, it's to find the weight out, of, yeah, I think it's the weight of the everything, the package and the pairing. Is enough I guess it, 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 has, it has to be, I guess. Yeah. Otherwise One of the glass spheres is maybe compromised. That would maybe, be yeah. We can go have a look if you want. Yeah, we should because this, these things were weighed at MTC in water. Roger. And uh, this definitely shouldn't be the case. Okay, Danny, you want to come chase me up? That's a good idea. That's probably what it could be. Gotta Most be. likely. Wow, that magnum's jamming there. And if you spam it enough, it might work. Toolbox Beacon is still 10 meters north of Atalanta Beacon, now at 1,700 meters on ascending. 10 meters will do. And you can yeah. see Grotto over on the side there in the Argus view. Yeah. Uh, really do want little glowy lights on all that yeah. stuff. That would be so cool. Different flash patterns. Yeah. Well, these are bolted together, so you can yeah. tell if one's compromised. I don't know how well, we're going to tell. If the one was flooded, it'd be sitting at an angle. One of them would be uh, a lot heavier than the other. Yeah, they look all right to me. When they do implode, they um, often the plastic is, you know, no longer in existence. It's malformed, yeah. Do they tend to take out the other ones around it? If one goes? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you check the salinity in your tank. <laughs> Maybe it definitely didn't. Yeah, I don't. I have seen them uh, slowly seep but usually at depth they don't seep no. it's all or nothing well that you're yeah, right it does look fine they seem to be floating what's that sticker made it too heavy <laughs> <laughs> yeah who put the sticker on that was right. not part of that, that. ruined it all Una unauthorized <laughs> sticker i wonder if that one on the right at the top sits a little low but i don't know it's impossible I don't. Th I think they're both fine. All four. Yeah, Reach out and touch them and so. find out. Or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If we're questioning whether they're failing. I don't know if that's a. Okay. All right. Well, it's off, Danny. No. Um. Well, we know once we put this mooring somewhere, it's not going anywhere. It's got a lot of weight. That's good, cause I, yeah. I don't What do you see? No, I think he went around north and came back around. I don't yeah, think I he did. did a full one. Mm -hmm. I see what you the tether is sticking up, but I think it's yeah, we're on this side of it, so it's all good. I've got a tight tether, so Yeah, we've been Danny's been chasing me up and down. Always good to double check though, thank you, Jake. Extremely clear today. Is the magnum out? It's 
what kind of fire in front of the bumper? Um, I only have the elbow extended. I don't have the yeah, shoulder no. down. Let me send the shoulder down. Let's do all that business. Put it way out there. Past the brow. Mm. It's, it seems to be off. Um, the deployment weight for this one when the ROV is transiting with it should be 56 pounds. Ooh. Oh. And, uh, that's with the weight. So I don't know. Seems something's off. I don't know if we're going to be able to lift it. Yeah. Quick, grab it for it. Go, oh, it flies away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just had to talk about it and it started running. It's scared. It's like neutral. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's Can I risk? Oh. Restraint some. Is that a realization? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. The one saving grace would be that when we do deploy it, we take a parking frame off. That's 30 pounds, but that doesn't help us now. That just helps the mooring sit up straight. Okay, Dan, that's about as far as I can send it. Roger. Works for me. I mean, I can take my shoulder down, but no, that's fine. Um, yeah, we can move it once we have a hold of it. We also have the three beacons in the side that we can get rid of. Can we uh, stow them, wet stow them here? You can stow them wherever, yeah. There's a spot that they're easily grabbable. And you can see me just touch it there. How much are the beacons? I think there's 16, I can look it up for you, but I think it's 16 pounds in water each. And one of them has a float attached to it though. So okay, so it's one. pretty neutral. I, well, I actually well, don't know uh, the answer to that. We'll, we'll, we'll try it here, see see how it goes. We can always drop our Alvin weights. If We're going to recover all that stuff anyway, so. Yeah, so Dan, what you've got is one of the beacons okay. is attached to a float that compensates for it, but it's also attached to a 17 pound weight. It's like a little package. All right. And that's a 17-pound weight in your fire box. Well, we have a, uh, what's an Alvin weight? Yeah, we have uh, four 16-pound weights we can drop if we need to on the front porch there. Okay. Okay, Denny, if you can reach it, grab that rusty pair ring and put okay. it in the uh, magnum jaw. Sounds like a plan coming out. Four full wide. Roger. Yeah. Moving target. Oh. It does float. <laughs> yeah, we just... You can also grab the rope. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird that it's floating now. So we want to put... Uh, the plan was to put the rope in the magnum jaw, but I was... So we're going to have to release one of those... Uh, we're going to have to release the one that you're not holding. No, I think that's the one he's holding. So we don't want that one in the jaw. You don't want the pairing in the jaw? Uh, the pairing would be cool, yeah, sure. Then I'll give you the pairing. It's like a dead party balloon. No! Yeah, it just kind of floats around the party. <laughs> hey, come here, you. We should have. Close. We were told to, but obviously not. You good? Uh, I think so, yeah. Got it in one, one tooth. Um. You want a better grab? There's uh, so we're gonna release one of those uh, weights. I forget which one, but there's a pole 
Yeah, there's a pole. Only one is a pole, so. Yeah. So you see the pole ring there? I think so. You talk about the one with the orange tape? In theory, yeah. Yeah, I mean. That guy right there? I can't tell from here, yep, but I think I it's that. black tape, maybe? No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Okay, can, you can stop spinning. Stopping spinning. You can go back a little bit? Right there. Looks like it's that loop of twine or whatever, jute, whatever it is. Yeah, it's this guy here. Oh, it's a shackle. Oh, that's fun. Okay, hold on. Cool I'll colors, I want to see. Here, I have some more weight. Oh, that was pretty simple. Uh, do we want to put that in here? Or doesn't matter. Yeah, it's the best spot for it. Yeah, right, careful, careful. Gas tight. Yep, I see the gas tight. I see you touching the gas tank. <laughs> okay, you can grab the uh, shackle and throw it in the toolbox too. You get one chance at that before it hits the dirt. That's what was sinking their ass there. Can That's I get someone on. to uh, zoom in on that for me? I can come in. You ready? Yeah. Okay, coming in. Holding there. Beautiful. <laughs> it's balanced. Yeah. <laughs> There's like no way you could do that twice. If you kick the jaw, rotate the jaws a little so you can see them, maybe right? Yeah, there you go. You can see the back jaw. You'll have to come in with the half closed jaws. Hmm. Oh, you know what? It's hooked around the other one, so you'll have to just knock it out of there. Yep. It's yeah. also not really holding anything either. Yeah. Oh, oh. It is what's sinking the mooring, though, so. Yeah, yeah, well, we can put the pin back in. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, maybe that's what was sinking the mooring. Yeah. If you grab it on the backside now, you can yeah. get it. Yeah. Yep, I'm just trying to get underneath it. Uh, can't really see it in bubble. I can give you more zoomage. I can see a little nub there. Beauty. Kind of like a I think they're all things. jammed in there. Fortunately, the bottom one's the floaty one. <laughs> no, it's stuck the in there. Blue cable. Yeah. Can you rotate uh, clockwise on that guy? Oh, look. There we go. It'll get much easier than that. Doink. <laughs> <laughs> Still easy. It's okay. It's a crane game. It's what this is what this, this is all about. Be the octopus, Danny. We're only doing this because we're waiting for the tool basket to arrive. Can't go anywhere until we get that thing on deck. So. Easy, easy. Octopus speed. Octopus speed. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'll rotate a little. There we go, right there. Right there. Grab me, grab me. I want to come home. That's for anyone at home. We're, we're just wait, also waiting for the ship right now. Uh, does this even come off of this thing? It does, but you're just, you're just <laughs> not Maybe. giving yourself enough. It's right on that tight radius. It's the hardest part. Oh, yeah, yeah it's not the easy, the, the sideways, the right <laughs> radius. You're, you're on hard level. Maybe you're better off just shaking it. I think it's where you, you're gripping with it. Oh, oh past. Right. That's the boss <laughs> level, too. Coming out. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. gone. It's in the hole. All done. Okay, well done.
Now it should float. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was fun. Toolbox is about 1,300 meters depth. Feet plus. And it is now still 12 meters away from that land. That's right? Right. No. Yep. Sometimes I swear I'm, play I'm at a fair playing like fair games, carnival games. I think I got a, I think I got a good enough hold of that thing. You've got it pinched between two jaws, so maybe? I can grab a hold and you can grab it again if you want. Uh, I'll see what happens here, see if I can lift it. I do have a vinyl horn on the front of this porch. Mm. Can you uh, tighten the delta up a little bit? Yeah, 34 meters is not good enough. Coming up? That's probably all right. Just going to see if I can fly with it. We might have to... Uh with the weight dangling, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's light enough that it's going to really recoil every time. Yeah. Come off me. Where is it caught? You can see the 180 cam right there. You got the bridle of the... There, now it came off. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Let me stow the uh, craft. So glad Danny Cam came back to life. Yeah. Feels pretty neutral. I don't think it's good. it's not even really floating its own shackle on that pairing. Yeah. Yeah, the bridle's a bit low. Looks like Herc just got back from the zoo. Four balloons. <laughs> <laughs> or had a birthday a few years ago or a few days ago. Yeah. Dangerous balloons. Helium's kind of escaping. Nautilus's birthday yesterday. The big yeah, five six. Balloons from the party. Now it would be really cool to get a picture with the camera of Hercules flying in with the balloons. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the observatory camera. Uh, where are you at? ROV. Um. Bucket. Well, it's certainly not floating her cup, Ooh. so here we here we are. It feels very neutral. <clears throat> well, wow. should be interesting. When it comes to recovering that package, you guys are going to have a fun time. Well, we'll clip to the top and we'll clip the weights back on. It'll get lighter when we take the. There's jewelry on it. We got to get rid yep. of. Yeah, yeah, okay. is, yep. well, it'll be all right. So. Just gonna try and pick it up here and uh, give ourselves a beauty shot now, Linda. See if I can even pick it up. If I got control of it. Oh yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we got a wrecking ball. <laughs> I do. It would be nice to take that the weight that we dropped and just staging it somewhere. Like maybe on top of that rock, even if we're gonna be waiting, anyways. Mm. We'll need it in two years. Roger. Looks yeah. like a good staging spot right there. Well, the only thing is the carabiner is on the bottom. I just want to flip it over, see if that's still connected. Roger. Oh, we can do that when we come back, can we? Well, if we're waiting, if we're moving somewhere, sure. But if we're just sitting here, then. Well, I got the package now, so I was gonna. Start moseying that way. Okay, and you're gonna hold it right here. All right, sweet. 
This is kind of a nice view for dropping that weight too. I don't know if I have enough control here. What are your options, uh, Alvin? Wait. Yeah, some Alvin weights. Say the word and I'll uh, not do it on top of those oilies. Oh. No, it would be uh, yeah, more controlled. But. Ooh, like that? Yeah, that's a bad placement. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, I mean it's it's not it's fine it's, it's it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're gonna have to drop some weights. I I let go of it and I'm looks pretty empty underneath us. I'm like hundred percent up there. Yeah, we're not even we're sinking with the RAS, so Set it down pretty nice and easy. Let me know when. When? Look, there's one already, one already loose. See the one? Yeah. See what I'm talking about? Hmm. <laughs> That didn't work. Scratch my paint job. Uh, you want to pull over to the yeah that way. Who picked these weights? I'm guessing you did. I don't know, if but you're asking the question. What's that? We rigged the weights on the ROV. I think you might have both of the lines there. Uh, two's too much. Uh, maybe. Uh, you got both. Still got you two. got both. The other one's longer. You can grab the other end. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah. If you just roll your wrist up, it should pull it out. Oh. Did you guys hear that from the lounge? Yes, I just heard that. That one only uh, has a no weight on it. Yeah. That's why it's not going nowhere. Uh, it makes it sense. It looks like it looks like it has a weight. The uh, forward one is uh, aft. They already touched it. Oh, I'm talking oh, yeah. to just to lounge, not even to SPL. Okay. Sorry, what are these lines doing? These They're guys? Yeah. The ballast oh, weights. Hopefully. Dropped. Ballast that one dropped. So we still have the aft weight there, so I don't think it dropped, right? No, uh, Is that not yeah. an aft weight right there? Yeah. They didn't drop one. It must be just pinned or something. Stuck. Yeah, they, they said they pulled it and the tape went, and that's. but obviously it didn't release. Well, we're yeah. obviously ascending now. We are. Yay, we're light again. Um, well, it beats messing around with the beacons. Try and, uh, can you pull the other one, see if it drops the other weight, or? You want to drop more? Or you want to drop this, this one here? Yeah, we might as well try, we're waiting. Maybe it's stuck, because you pulled it and it didn't go either, right? Oh, it, it wants to go. It wants to go, yeah. It moves a little bit. That position of that temporary mooring, that will be where we need to pick up the weights in two years from now. We'd have to go back there and pick up that carabiner or RAS BBS recovery. Danny, it'll I pull. put a track annotation to, so we have that in long of the dropped weights. Okay, but uh, can you put in that it's for the RAS PPS yes, recovery? Yes, Okay, thanks. All right, for RAS PPS. we'll try that, see what happens. Thanks. We got two more we can drop. That one's pinned. Have we actually successfully deployed all four weights underwater? No, but I'm thinking, um, what? how much weight's on the bottom of the rounds there? Uh, that one, I think, is 90 pounds? 90 pounds, yeah. Uh, 
issue there is if I'm, you know, thrusting up hard, I won't be able to land without disrupting the visibility. Let's just come up here and see what it takes to hold it. I'm surprised how easy you can just pick up 90 pounds with a relatively heavy vehicle. That's great. Oh, it's 40% of its power there. Oh, huh. I guess it's not 90 in water. It's, it's probably like more like 78 or something. Raz is coming down. All right. Let's see what happens here. We are thrusting up uh, 40% there. So half of our power to 40 some percent up thrust. Well, we're not going to be fighting with the top hat to put it on the vent. The bar is just going to go right over. Did the, uh, the wrist drooped? I think Thought so. I it up there. You did. Dirk, are we dropping these weights as well, or only the ones that we already dropped? Only the ones we already dropped, yeah. Okay. This will be the anchor for the mooring. Okay. Makes sense. Hmm. That's interesting. I shouldn't do that. It's gone down again, I think. Oh, maybe that one doesn't have a lock valve on it. That's why. I don't think it does. Uh-oh. Danny Cam's flipping out. Oh, no. What's our package? Package is at 9 to 6 meters, and it is now much closer to the starboard side of the ship. It's looking a little better. Yeah, it is. It's uh, approximately... 25 meters north of Atlanta. Dan, I'm gonna give Danny Cam a break. <laughs> Roger, let it cool down. Yeah. So I'm gonna start moseying that way because it's gonna be super slow here with the uh, okay with the rats. I'm gonna clear the trails here of this guy. Do you know how, you can clear all those how heavy those weights were that we dropped? Yeah, that was 140 pounds. 140, thank you. <laughs> you want me to clear this spaghetti? Sure, we got waypoints for everything now, don't we? Well, toolbox is gone. We got the IP, got Dante. Uh, uh, you, can, you can clear it. Okay. Start over. Dan, do we still need this screen, or can I go back to, uh... You can put the nav screen back up there. Where's our location for this instrument going to be? This is going to be on that same shelf by Grotto next to the camera and next to the um, little pig or the bars. Okay. <laughs> this little pig went to Grotto. Mark it. The village. Sign a village. <laughs> Let me get... We will get a little bit of buoyancy. I think those frames are quite heavy. Yeah. I can look it up. I think they're like 20 pounds or 27 pounds or something. A and you also have those weights on there, right? Yeah. That's yeah. another. What, what was that? This is, I forget. But They were heavy. They were too big. Like, I don't know. They were at least 15. Yeah. Yeah, so this thing's going to get lighter by probably around like 40 to 50 pounds once deployed. I've got a note here about that, so I'll look it up.
Won't that just make it more positively buoyant? Yeah, so right now it's not, you know, it's, it's, uh, barely. It's sinking. Yeah, yeah it's, it's got a lot of stuff on it, so yeah. we want it to, you know. Well, yeah, what worries me about this more. arrangement is if the current takes it and blows it into Grotto, and it'll be sitting up, blowing up against the vent, we want, you want the buoyancy for sure to keep it right side up. But I mean, if it's 40 pounds of buoyant, but it's a lot better than half a shackle. Could have gone on the left side of that rock. Thank you. It's like the scene in every action movie where there's somebody hanging from a helicopter. <laughs> Death up above. Okay, visibility disruptors engaging. Tight to the resist. Catch it on the rock. Yep. I, sure, I sure did. Full vertical up. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we lost our wrist again. I can pop us. That's that's all right. I don't mind it hanging out there. Hmm. I have a bucket cam. Well, not bucket, I mean, uh, bubble. What's your RAS doing there? Is it off to the side or? Can't tell. Still, I don't know if it's caught up. Yeah, it might be. can't see it in uh, Atlanta. Must be hung up on something. <coughs> I'll go back the way I came. Herc and the Ross doesn't fit through there at the same time. Apparently not. I can see the floats in the Atlanta. I see the box, I don't see the floats. Hmm. Yeah, I think it was caught up on that rock. Hmm. Do you want to be lighter, or you just you think it's all right as is? I think it's all right as is, because... Uh, just be up high? What? Yeah, I'll just get the altitude here before I... Go for enough. Copy.
I have uh, Mike on the way if he's not already there. up and look for the light. Light's directly in front of us. Yeah. Now I'm ready to take some shots from Herc of Herc. I have the live stream of the camera figured out. Is the lens cleaner? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh, it's clean. It's clean. Yeah. Yeah, it's. I didn't have a good. Yeah. So you're happy. That was happy. good that you caught that. Huh? Well, it's good that you noticed that it needed cleaning. Yeah, it was this morning. I was checking the C script. And yeah, that was one of. Can and you, you put Danny Cam back up? Yeah, I can put Danny Cam back up. There's three field of views. You cannot check that in all of them. Just one, right? It's one. Nope. All right. Uh, here in this. Hit, this. No. Yeah. If you look at this, the other ones. Can zoom in, you know. Yeah, you yeah. See. Or even. Oh, yeah. Not the front. Anyway. Okay. Uh, let me know if you need an Adelaide to move. I think we will, yeah. Okay, do you want me to come north a mm, couple? Northeast, I think. Okay. Northeast, what, 15? Sure. Or, yeah. Sure, yeah. Bridge, nav. Uh, can we have a step 15 meters bearing 025? Did you drop ma the mango, or not mango, um... Thank you. The magnum all the way down, or...? No, I lifted it up a little bit. I did, okay. It was, uh... I don't know if it drooped down or not, but... Okay, I sank. Coming up again. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I guess I'm chasing a floating balloon. Yeah. <laughs> See, it still floats. It does float. Oh. Yeah, I think our preliminary target should be that big landing pad. One question for the RV team, if that's a good time. Sure. Just chasing balloons here. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. While you're chasing balloons, do you know the weight of the ballast weights that we dropped from the RV pulling those lines? 16 pounds. 16 pounds. Thank you. Oh, that's a good catch. Knowing what the weights are that we dropped. Good thinking, Mitch. I know, because how many times do we see, oh, we've got weights down there. No idea what they weigh. Yeah, one, one Alvin weight is 16 pounds in water. That's right. One Alvin weight, 16 pounds in water. Yeah. Yep. 
Danny Cam died again. Yeah, all right. I have to wait for the. I'm gonna hold what I got here and wait for my balloons to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> the. <coughs> yeah. Nice. I don't want to get them wrapped around our tether. So. Yeah. I'm trying to keep a tight leash on you. It's going well, just Much slow going. It. Yeah, it got a little too crazy there. I don't know what the depth of the camera is. The depth? Yeah. Oh, we should have that somewhere. But I'm not sure. Actually, maybe... Been there a hundred times. It should be off on the bars. Data search. Bars and... That one's the same, same pressure. Work, working on it, Dan. Yeah, no worries. Crunching up a storm back here. Roger, thank you. Appreciate it. I think I'm above it. That would be cool to... It's cool to not have to re... Altitude when we get there. Yeah, be better to altitude out here. And so I have that lovely beacon to fly towards. Yeah, it kind of gives you a rough, a rough idea. Totally. Uh, they're the kind of the same spot. That thing has saved a lot of time out here. Yeah. Hunting around in the dark with a flashlight. Which also scared the heck out of a lot of navigators. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah, it was nice when Tempo Mini was there, so I was happy to hear that we had a another light up here. Something in the blinking in the background. Yeah. Yeah, it's like sometimes we come down where we think the tool basket was, and then you're on the wrong side of North Tower, and you yeah. have no idea where you're coming down on, so you just see the light. You're like, oh, whoa, way too far north. Yeah. And did Tempo Mini go down for the first time in 2013, or was that to just get serviced and then put back? I don't know. Fabio would know, or uh, might know. According uh, to our records, the camera 30. interface yep. is at a depth of 2186. 2186. 2186. And Tempo Mini sounds like around 2013. Yeah. That was a that was a really successful camera deployment. How long was it out down for? Thank you for that I think information. it failed in 2018 or 19. That's pretty good. Yeah, that was... And it, it was uh, dragged was across the bottom when we deployed it. It was a long <laughs> data set. Produced at least three or four papers. I would say. On the benthic fauna. And didn't we put a thermistor array in front of it once? Yeah, we put some uh, yeah thermistor arrays for Dallas, I believe. 2016? We did 14, 15. 14, yeah. I remember doing on the Thompson. And
Is it sprinkling out there? Another move, or you're gonna come down, Danny? I can come down. Yeah, move. Atalanta's only got another five meters to go <clears throat> towards you. I can go a little further if you like. Um. Go another ten. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Bridge now. I'm uh, five meters away from the wall there, so. Uh, ten meters, zero two five. Did you want 15 then? No, that should do it. Okay, thank you. Just trying to spin around so we're facing the vent. I know that thing's in front of us. Yeah. I'm gonna take your camera just for a minute. Roger. They're good. Yep. Copy paste. Yeah, that's what I did. Copy paste gauge is good. I did yep. a control shift colon, copy paste. But I did write copy paste gauges are good. going to be an acceptable heading there. What do you reckon? That's cool, huh? She said precarious. Precarious. <laughs> well, precarious, cool, kind of the same thing when it comes to vents. This guy, this is still, I always find it funny, these cables running up. Yes, <laughs> vertical It's like cables. a vertical drop. Yeah. Not even leaning up against a rock, just... Don't have to worry about them burning on any hot vent. Nothing like this. Oh. Maybe pinched against the sulfide, the sharp sulfide? Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> Snagged around. Now we're doing finger uh, shadow puppets. Let's see if we can see. This is definitely not. So oh, what did we decide? We're going to put the weight on the platform? Or? Yeah, on the platform. I didn't, ideally, there was also, we thought, maybe a little closer over here by th on the other side of the bars. But when it's this light, I'm worried it's going to just kite right into something. Roger. So we can always move it once, we, once we're a little settled in. Just want to see how it sits first. Oh, Dan, you deployed Tempo Mini first around 2010. Does that make sense? Or 2011? Uh, I can't remember. What? Oh, never mind. That's what Steve was saying, but he thinks he's wrong now, actually. Yeah, I think uh, I was laying pipe around that time. You were there for the first bars deployment, you said? Uh, no, was, we did bars like way back then, so. I only thought that 2013 was the first time because there was a tech from you from here, uh, Daphne, who came out with us. You think that's too far out there? You want it back on maybe the other a, side? Maybe a little closer. 
just because again I don't know what how it's going to happen closer to the vent yeah and the vent we want to harvest like potentially target is kind of off to your left there so right let's flop it on the other side it looks like one of our Alvin lights careful you're really close to that camera on your uh, porch yeah I think it's under me Right. That's probably pretty good right there. And we can adjust later. Quite high up. Yeah, it sticks way up there. RV hazard. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna relax my jaw. You ready to let go of it here? Hopefully this. I might need an assist from the. Oh, no, it's going to fall out of there. Well, it's happy. <laughs> it's a very the neutral patch of pa package. The weight of the buoyant rope is with the stiffness of the rope, so it's keeping it down. Uh, it might be sinking. Oh, it's sinking. Oh, no. Is there something you don't want it to land on? or it's No, like at that speed, I don't think. I just meant like the camera view. I don't know what you're looking at over there. I think it's okay. There's nothing we can do at this point. Yeah. I'm going to go take some weight off of it. Um. Yeah, Let's. I just want to see where it's sitting and then... Ooh. It's a good spot for it. I can see it in the camera. <laughs> No, not very good spot. <laughs> <laughs> we can slowly uh, disagree. Yeah, can we move it out of there if possible? Uh, I mean, we really off, have to take the weight off before yeah. we can really do anything. Oh, look, there's a new team. It weighs uh, almost nothing, push. Fabio, so it's not destroying your. It doesn't weigh anything there. We are going to move it right away. No, that's, that's okay. Yeah, as soon as we take something off of it, it's going to float it's up. It's going right? to float up, yeah. So, <laughs> take the toilet brush off. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, the weights I think are on the other side of this thing. Yeah. Let me uh, get our magnum back into. Uh, oh, here's AJ just in time. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we'll show AJ before we do the weights. Maybe, can I just show AJ where this goes, where we scouted? Are you talking to pilots? Yeah, talking to pilots. Sorry, pilots. Sorry, Dan. Yeah, I... I uh, so you're doing a quick survey? I have no idea what you're talking about there. Oh, it's Is going... Is shoulder all the way up, Danny? No, your shoulder's down okay. quite a bit. Can you... Yeah, I'll bring your shoulder it's up. It's like a... It looks almost like it... Well, we went, opted clear. for another one. It's um this, that spot. Okay. On the flange, yeah. We did we did kind of poke at it. it, seemed fine, and it's got a lot of shimmer. Just got to support the hat. No, it can't. We hope it will fit just on the shelf. I don't know how to get a size estimate of how big that is, but we can use the lasers maybe. Shoulders up. We figured before right. it would easily fit there. Let close the jaws. Sure, yeah, you can leave them there, that's good. Yeah. We never really temperature probe the left, so hopefully it sits on the right for now, and then we can always move it to the left. There you go, laser's on. Yeah. 
I think it can kind of, I think it can be anyway. It's got a hole like this on there right now. I don't know. Nefes has a smoker. It looks pretty good. That's so. This is this is one us. spot. Okay, the spot right underneath us. We also looked at. It also looked good. If it can reach here, this was our ideal ideal spot. Was on this 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 up here. This one is our ideal spot if it can reach. Then we figured this spot, and then after that we were kind of didn't really have a good spot. <coughs> Those are both really good spots though. The cable, you have lots of slack. We got like 10 meters of slack down there. Well, we pulled through. Yeah, I think so. Well, the problem is you need the temperature from the RAS to really tell you whether the location's good. So you have to have it plugged in to tell you. Yeah, we were thinking we were thinking staging the RAS right the weight right next to the pig. Yeah, okay. And then pulling this and putting the clump in front of Fabio's camera. No, <laughs> no this, this way here. <laughs> Fabio's like, look at me, the no way. <laughs> it can just go any direction, I guess. You can even chuck it over the, you can really just throw it over the ledge too. It doesn't matter. As long as it's at a different angle than the hat, it should be okay. All right. Nav's doing chain er changeover over here.
Watch change the video. Check, check, check. Radio check. Oh, really? <laughs> so this thing we're gonna cowboy this thing well it's very challenging because you touch it yeah and it spins or sinks right? yeah so you're very slightly positively buoyant i'm gonna turn on your down light see if that helps our camera here no i think the camera just has some major issues hey folks how's it going good how are you doing? Good, good. Just getting settled here. Yeah, same here. All right. Are we are we waiting on anything or are you waiting on me? No, no. We were just uh, taking a break and shifting around here. And um, okay. I think uh, I think yeah. We're not waiting on the deck. Hopefully, they don't drop anything on our heads. But. Um, yeah, we're ready to uh, okay. start attacking this thing. So. Awesome, awesome. So where's the anchor for this thing right now? Is it's it where around. we want it to end up, or do we want it to shoot?